Yo, I already heard somebody went on a distance putting tutorial. Here we go. Get a wide lens on this kid. <laughs> you got something to say? You got something to say, boy? Huh? Ah! No, stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ezra and I both on chase card today. Fun fact since the beginning of 2020. We are tied in strokes after what, like 20 plus events? Yeah. Yeah, so of course we tied yesterday, seven down, chase card. So this, this tournament's gonna determine everything. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see. Yeah. We'll see who comes out on top. It's me. After three years. After three years. And Alden right here on the edge, gonna give that a run and, oh my. Oh, no way. That's dirty. Cool two putts he likes to make. Ezra Robinson giving this a run, hits the top band. Uh oh, uh oh. That is uh, putting bogey in that, the picture. Yeah, that's gonna set you back a little bit. Look at this roller from Alden. All the way. The fact that Alden's probably gonna save par here with that tee shot is really impressive. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of impressive. Oh. Ezra. Uh, Ezra, thank you for joining us. Um, first off, congrats on the great round. Thank you. Um, secondly, why did you implode? You know, people have their ups and downs, and um, that whole round for me was just a down. And, um, you know, I threw the shot perfectly every single shot, but um, just, I guess, Mother Nature had other other ideas and plans so just like I was, it would be straight in the middle exactly what you want and just boom magnet right into the tree um we noticed you had a really good drive on hole 18 mm -hmm. uh, why'd you decide to wait for the last tee shot to throw something decent um because i want i wanted to play safe um the whole rest of the round um you know if i if i could be one over going into 18 that was my goal um so i matched that actually perfectly so um i figured i would try to get um you know, birdie on 18 if I could, possibly. I agree. I agree. Yeah. All that game plan sounds good to me, you know. It's a really solid round there from Ezra Robinson. Yeah, well, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Uh, good luck no tomorrow. Hopefully you shoot better than four over, was it? Yeah, some okay. even. Great. Even four. All right, cool. I don't know. Yeah, thank you. Goodness, this is just insane what we're seeing. <laughs> We are here with your leader, Isaac Robinson, after the second round of the LWS Open at Idlewild. Isaac, we saw on hole 13 or 12, I believe it was, he said, you know what, I'm gonna lay this putt up. Mm -hmm. Why did the layup go about five feet too high into the dead center of the basket? It was, my layups today were horrible. Um, I really cost myself a lot of strokes because I couldn't lay up. Really affected your score negatively. Yes. But um, yeah, so you also had a, you know, a nice shot on Whole 14's up shot, you literally whacked every single tree in the fairway and it somehow got through it and it was like 20 feet. Uh, 14, yeah. Um, you know, there wasn't a gap and so I just threw it. Just got lucky like you just did the lucky. whole round. Yep. Also, after you, you know, you laid up that putt on hole, hole 12 and it just went in the basket somehow. Yep. You, you pretty much, you thought it was a slip and slide below the basket. It was, And it yeah. just, not, not a good attempt, honestly. No. Really um, embarrassing. At that yeah. point, I would quit disc golf. I think I will actually. I don't even want to finish the round tomorrow. Not right, good. Well, that just in, folks. Isaac Robinson is DNFing from the event, and uh, you know, Gannonburg's gonna take it down. <laughs> He's showing us how, how far he bombed. Let's go. Yeah, buddy. Ooh. That had way more heat on it. That, that's actually that's further than Gavin can throw a sidearm. <laughs> we are out here at the Idlewild uh, warm-up area. We got a D2 Pro with my stamp on it. Um, we're gonna hit it with golf clubs. Distance, four iron. Distance contest. We got Gannon, we got Gavin, we got me. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. That's pretty good. <laughs> 79.6. That's pretty good. That's a oh! He got a flight! Yes. That's great. 126.3. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <coughs> oh, 
on, hold on. Yeah, wait. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Take a step closer. Okay. I, I promise. I promise you. Take a step closer. You're very far. What, let's go. step in. No, that's, this is close enough. No, it's not. <laughs> Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Twenty-two point one. That does not look like it's it. It doesn't. Your yeah. rangefinder is broken. <laughs> yep. oh. Get on my level. Man, long day. Better go wash my hands. When it comes to the game of disc golf, getting up and down from about 75 feet is one of the most important things. Today, me and Alden Harris are going to teach you how we get up and down and what's the most effective way to control your nose angle and speed control towards the basket. I personally like to control the, the, you know, the speed by just hitting the basket. So, here's how it goes. Leaves me with a nice little 15 footer. Never have to worry about any rollaways because it's hitting it so hard. Um, you know, work on your speed control, guys, and uh, you know, one day maybe you can shoot 985 rated too. The speed is very important, but I think the angle is a little more important, which Gannon doesn't really have down yet. So the way I like to approach greens, if you come at a spike angle, it's not going to roll anywhere. Simple as that. Just like with getting up and down from 70 feet, it's important to control your speed and spin and your nose angle on your putt. Personally, I like to throw my putt a little bit harder, more of like a little bit of a snappy throw. That way I know it's gonna hit the line confidently every time. So, here we go. Come with me as I show you how I putt. All right, that way it stays in the basket every time. It's gonna be really consistent out in the course and um, you know, the quicker you can get to the basket, the less time it has to deviate off its line. Here we are at my lie about 15 feet away. The angle control is really important going into the green, but I think it's more important as you go into the basket. So the way I like to put, I like to go completely vertical like this so that there's no possible way it can spit out like this. There he is. That's from the bro. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2022 LWS at Auto Wild Open, Isaac Robinson. Yeah. Yeah.